Hello friends, hello family, how have you been? It's Eunice again for you and I hope you all feel well. Welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscription button and if you've already subscribed, thank you for always tuning in and being part of this family. Your goodness and mercy. So people, I just want us to take a look. I want to ask you a question. Who was taking a look at the football, the EM football yesterday, which was the 12th of June in the evening between Finland and Denmark? Oh my gosh, what was happening? What was happening? I personally, I have to say, I wasn't watching because I was on my way back from work but then my sister called me and was like, oh, you won't believe what just happened and I was like, huh, what? And she was like, one of the footballer just collapsed and they are not able to like reanimate him, they are not able to wake him up and I was like, oh, God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So we were like just talking and she's like, yeah, I've been sitting here, I've been crying and I don't know what. I called my parents, I called our parents and they were like, yeah, something like this has happened before, but we've been praying for him. I cut the phone, I just checked the internet to see what was going on and if there's been any updates on him being back on his feet again or something like that and there was no information so I was just sitting in the train and I was like God please God please God please I commit all his family into your hands I commit him into your hands please make everything well again make him well again and I was just reading today in the morning on my way to church in the newspapers that he was back to life again, that he was well. And what moved me to make this video was the title on the newspaper. And the title was, here in German, it was like, God sei Dank ihr lebt, which is, thanks be to God, he lives, or he is alive. And I was like, yes, thank be to God for him being alive. Because people, this is showing us that we do not own time and we do not own the moment, we do not own the second. Look at what happened. It was in the middle of a football match. It was in the middle of a football match. And then that guy just collapsed without any anything happening to him. He just collapsed and that was it. So I just want us to think about the shocking moment that his family went through, that our family might have went through if we were him. And how sad would it be if we weren't for Christ, if we were not sure that we are going to his kingdom and then we collapse out of nowhere. God being so good, just like the newspaper was saying, he is back to his foot again. But what if he shouldn't have made it? What if you were in his stand? What if I was in his stand? And we didn't have Christ. We didn't have God. And we just collapsed and do not make it. And it can happen to each one of us in a time, in a second, in a moment. How is our family going to feel? Not only is it going to be sad to lose you, for your family to lose you, or to use to lose a family member physically, but it is even sadder when we think about the fact that spiritually that person was not safe, or that we were not safe spiritually, and so we do not know where we are going to belong, which is actually also clear. So today, due to the shock that we all went through was this thing was going on and we were all just like praying for his life and those who were watching the football match live 
were all in shock. My sister were always like crying, crying. He does not, she does not know him, but she was crying like crazy for his life. And it's my prayer today that we cry for our spiritual life. That we give our life to Christ based on this that what happened yesterday based on that to give our life to Christ to know that you know what we do not own ourselves we do not own time time is not on our side anything can happen anytime and so we have to give our life to him because when we should fall now when we should fall now where are we going where do we belong and if you know today in your heart, deep in your heart, that you have not made the decision yet, that your Christianity, your life is not dedicated to Christ and to Christ alone, wholeheartedly, from all your soul, from all your being, being for Him. If you know that there is something, just a little thing, keeping you from Him, then it is my prayer today I am begging of you that we will let everything fall. This is a wake-up call to each and every one of us. A wake-up call that time is not on our side, that we do not own ourselves, that anything can happen anytime. And so let's give it up to Jesus. He is the way to eternal life. He is the way to salvation. Let's accept the blood that he gave for us so that should we be in a state where we don't know what is happening with us to us we will know that for sure no matter what happens to our physical body for sure our spiritual being has been saved and is in a safe place which is in the kingdom of God I pray that today, after reading what went on with this guy, this footballer, if you don't know what happened yet, or if you didn't watch it, or you don't know of it, take a look at it again, and you will see that we are just like, I don't know, leaves, we can fall from the tree anytime. We can fall from the tree anytime. The time is now for us to accept the Savior. And if you've already accepted Him, then it is about time for us to worship Him wholeheartedly with our spirit, with our mind, with our soul, with everything, with everything. His word says that those who worship Him should worship Him in truth and in spirit. So from now onwards, it is our prayer, it is my prayer that we will all worship our Lord in truth and in spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen.